In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make sure that the line will be positioned exactly on the bar instead of always by default in the center. And what we're going to do is we're going to move to this one, we move it here, here, and here. And you can see here, this will be all nicely coordinated on it. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to position a line chart on a specific bar in a group bar chart in ChartJS. So the first thing what we need is we need to go to chartjs3.com, getting started. This specific link, which you can find as well in the description box, we're going to grab here the boiler template. So once you're on here, scroll down and grab this boiler template here. Copy this, and if you want to understand this code, please watch this video here that explains it all. So I'm going to paste this in here, then I will cut out the title and put the title in here. Save, refresh. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in here the um well let's maximize the size of the chart first save refresh then what i want to do is i want to have a group bar chart or basically we're going to make a line chart or a bar line combo chart where we have multiple bars but also we have a line chart in here so how to do this first of all let's end up multiple bars so we have to put in multiple data sets in here all right, so we have now here, let's put in one more. We can save that, refresh, there we are. So we have these four, and just to make it a bit more unique, we make sure that everyone has an independent color. So I'm going to just say this one is the black bar. Then we have another one here that would be uh, whatever this color is. I guess we would get the yellow one. I know that is yellow. That's the fourth value here. All right, let's remove all of this. And then we say here yellow. Then we have the blue. That's the second line. And finally, we all have the red one. That is the first line. So now we remove all of those. Save, refresh. All right, interesting. I apparently uh, removed something here, not correctly, but anyway, it doesn't matter. What I want to do next is I want to get here the next item. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to say a comma and paste this. And then I'm going to say here, this is a line. Once we have the line here, I guess the line can be a black line. So that's fine. I'm going to put that in here. If I save this refresh, all right, it doesn't recognize this. And the reason why it doesn't video really, or it does recognize, sorry. But the reason what we are missing here I call here the label line, where maybe it's the line item, for example. But of course, we need to say here the type, and the type will be a line chart as well. So we say here line, so refresh. All right, so by default, it always goes in the center, and that might be nice, but it's not desirable. So let's say we want to have it specifically on the red line. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, what I want to do is, well, we have this bar type, just to avoid the mistakes. I'm going to remove L here, although it's still, you can see it will not have any impact, but just in case, I'll just put them all in our data set because every data set will be specified as a bar. All right, just to make sure so that we have no other issues. So you can see here, and we have this, and I do realize that our item should be drawn earlier. So maybe what we can do here for this, I'm going to say comma, I'm going to say order, we put the order on zero. We force this on top. All right. Of course, it doesn't work yet because we need to specify everything else. Order one. So basically what I'm really saying is I want to make sure that the line will be drawn first and afterwards we're going to draw everything else. Save that, refresh. You can see here this works nicely now. Now we are on top and I feel like the tooltip is distracting us. So I'm going to say get plugins tooltip. Then say enable false. Save that, make sure a comma, save, refresh. All right, so you can see here, this is always on top now. We have put it in, but of course you could move this into orders if that would be necessary. Anyway, what I mean by orders, I mean move the structure. With. If you would move this to the very top here, it would also be the same as with order one and zero because it will draw the very first one on top. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a plugin and this plugin, I'm going to say plugins and then I'm going to say here line position because that's what we need to, that's what we need to do. So I'm going to say a 
slash this plugin block constant this equals the ID and the ID will be the line position. I will not spend any time on this because we don't really need this. So what I do want here is when we want to draw this and what I'm going to say is before data sets draw. So I'm going to do this before the data set is drawn and the reason why is if I do it after the data set has been drawn it might not position it afterwards because once it's drawn positioning will be harder so what we're going to do here put in this we're going to say here chart arts and plugin options so once we have these here and these are just the objects i'm going to say here so now what i need to do here we don't need any object destructuring now because we don't have to draw anything all we want to do is reposition what i need to know is then the following first of all what is the official position of this bar if I want to pinpoint on the red one? Luckily, there's a very easy item with me that is built in. So we're going to say a chart dot get data set meta and make sure that data set is spelled correctly meta. And then in here we say index number zero. Basically, what we're going to say here is we want to grab the data set and then which one exactly? Well, if it's zero, it will be this. That's this one here, which is the red bar. So what I do now is a console log and just show you what this is. Say refresh, open up developer tab. You get this menu of this, let's refresh this. All right, you get everything nicely. And you can see it's a bar type, which is correct because it's a red line. And then we can see here the red sales or sorry, the red, it's the red bar. So not the red line, but the red bar. And that's indicated as red sales. So what is more important here is if we go into the data click on this you can see all the coordinates of every item specifically the x and y coordinates for us the x coordinate is important of every data index or every index which is basically the seven points that we have here or for every specific red bar there is a x value as you can see here and there's a length of seven so this is important so we're going to use this and more specifically i want to say here dot data there is, let's say index zero dot x specifically pinpointing if i do this i will pinpoint on the zero x let's click on this that will be 42. so if i refresh you can see here 42. all right this is the information i need and now i need to make sure that this line or this dot of the line moves on that specific item so how do we do that well we already know this information here we could just also get the same information of our line chart and our line chart is index number five or sorry no, number four it's because we have five data sets so basically which data set are we pinpointing but red is index zero so the fifth element or fifth uh, value would be this line and that's index number four right that's just uh, array calculations so zero base calculations so number four is the fifth item so we have this so if I save this right now, refresh, you can see here we will get this. And of course, it, it loops through this multiple times. But you can see 42 and then 64, meaning that there's about 20 pixel difference or 22 pixels. So how do we move this? Well, quite simple. What we're going to say here is the following. I'm going to grab, first of all, this item here. And more specifically, the data itself, this specific part. And we're going to use a for loop here. Or sorry, a for each loop not a for loop we're going to say here well basically just this because that's the one i want to reposition the x coordinates so we say this and then what i'm going to say here uh for each dot for each and then for every item i will call this x a data point because i want to avoid using x again or at least to avoid confusion and next i want to say the index all right these are just shorthand values this is just a for each loop so that i don't have to explain that too much so once we have this here we have arrow function expression and what we're going to do is we're going to change whatever we have our x now with the x of this bar basically of the bar position so what i'm going to say here data point dot x which is just basically this x here the data dot x but then this is for every item we're going to say will be equal to our new positioning and our new positioning is basically this part and then we're going to say here index because it will loop it with this index so if i save this 
and then we refresh this and look at that now we are repositioned exactly on the one item or the bar we want and we can change this if i say for example here uh this is number four all right so if i say number one number two there number one there you are and we could move this in any position we want so basically with this you can quickly control the position of your line which is absolutely phenomenal so if you enjoyed this video maybe you want to have for example you want to have two scales you have one here and one on the other side in that case i'm going to recommend you this video on how to show two scales in a bar line combo chart in chart.js